Hi friends, welcome back. Once again, we are discussing the concepts of marginal costing. Welcome back to Cap Classes channel. We are going to discuss another short term decision that is, shall we make the component in house or shall we buy the component from outside? So this is a very interesting and very important crucial decision I'll tell you. For example, just let me give you a very small example. Imagine you are uh, running a restaurant, something like Barbecue Nation. So you know that Barbecue Nation has, uh, you know, very good uh, spread of uh, desserts, right? So when you go uh, and see the desserts counter, they have, you know, maybe at least uh, six to eight types of different, different desserts. And now the question is, are they making these pastries? Are they making these sweets? Or they are outsourcing it to another, you know, uh, contractor who is making that on behalf of Barbecue Nation because there is no brand on it. So whether Barbecue Nation manufactures this chocolate pastry and keep it over there or some other person is maintaining that same level of quality and manufacturing it, producing it. And Barbecue Nation is keeping that in the counter. Wouldn't really make any big difference. So here, the point to be observed is, which way I'll save more money? Which way I'll save more money? Even if you are, say, for example, automobile manufacturer, you use so many components like you call it, you know, right from windscreens, right from uh, side mirrors to the foot mats to, you know, um, you call it, there are so many uh, clutch plates will be there, brake wires will be there, gear rods will be there, so many components will be there. So if I am Tata Motors, shall I manufacture my own gear rod or shall I? outsource it to XYZ firm, who will manufacture gear rods for me? If I am saving more money, if the other company is able to give a quality output at less than my manufacturing cost, am I stupid to manufacture in my own factory to lose money? For example, there is a company called BreaksIndia.com, BreaksIndia uh, Limited. This Breaks India Limited, I think, if, if my memory is right, it is a subsidiary company of uh, TVS. So this Brakes India, they manufacture brake wires and all. So whether you are Hyundai or Honda or Tata Motors or Maruti Suzuki, you can go to them and you can buy, buy their brake wires, no? Because they are specialists in that. They are specialized in that. So obviously, if you are manufacturing a brake uh, wire, if it is costing you 1000 rupees, if Brakes India is able to supply it at 800, don't you think it is wise? to buy it from outside instead of manufacturing it yourself why are you wasting your time and efforts so this is called this is called make or buy decision shall i manufacture it or shall i buy it okay so here obviously in decision making fixed costs are irrelevant fixed costs are irrelevant so you have to uh, take a decision based on what is the cost if I purchase and what is the marginal variable cost of manufacture, not total cost. Variable cost of manufacture should be compared with the purchase cost. Then you have to take a decision. Okay, so let us see problem number 13. NN Limited manufactures automobile accessories and, spa and parts. The following are the total cost of processing 2 lakh units underline the quantity. Direct material cost 375. Very good. Direct labor cost 80. Super. Variable factory overhead 16. Fixed factory overhead 500 lakhs. Put a star mark. It is irrelevant. The purchase price of the component is 485. The fixed overheads would continue to be incurred even when the component is brought from outside. That means, my dear friend, if you are outsourcing manufacture of this particular component, you will not save anything of this 500 lakhs. Whether you manufacture it or you do not manufacture it, this 500 lakhs, you will have to incur anyway. This 500 lakhs, you will have to incur anyway expressly they have given in the question, even if they have not given this sentence in the question also, still it would mean the same. You can write the assumption. 
in the question fixed factory overheads 500 lakhs is given it is assumed that even if the component is outsourced or bought from outside open market still the company will incur the same fixed cost you can write the assumption okay now required should the part be made or bought from outside considering that the present facility when released following a buying decision would remain idle okay now look here um ta -dan, ta -dan, ta -dan. no this one okay so variable manufacturing cost of component okay so you have direct material cost 375 375 you will put proper performance and all you will uh, have to write in the exam okay particulars rupees like that you need to write direct materials direct labor 80 variable overhead cost i think 16 total variable manufacturing cost add karo 471 okay then Purchase price of component 485. Purchase price of component 485. Now you tell me which is better. So variable manufacturing cost is lower. I prefer manufacturing it because I will save money. So conclusion. It is advisable to manufacture the component in house instead of buying it from outside. It will save 485 is the purchasing cost if you are buying it minus 471 that is equal to how much it is telling me 485 minus 471 14 rupees rupees 14 component since the total quantity required is in the first para they have given total quantity how much two lakhs total savings is equal to two lakhs into 40 in that comes to 28 lakhs rupees so what will you do manufacture manufacture it in house this is Answer for bit A. Then bit B. In case the released capacity can be rented out. Oh, in first situation, they said, even if you buy it from outside also, the infrastructure will be idle. Now, in second situation, what they are saying, you know, imagine some factory or some premises, some place, you are using to manufacture this. But if you buy it from outside, this campus will be idle. Now you don't need to keep it idle. You can get one lessee. You can give it on rent and you can earn some rental income. How much of the rental income? In case the released capacity can be rented out to another manufacturer for 32 lakhs having good demand. Oh my God. What should be the decision? Simple. Give this property on lease at 32 lakhs rental income. Earn the 32 lakhs. Purchase the component. You are saving 28 lakhs. Now you will not be able to save the 28, but you are getting 32 lakhs here. Still you will get 4 lakhs profit. So in second situation, stop manufacturing. Purchase it from outside. Situation B. Situation B. If the if the facility can be let out to earn a rental income of rupees 32 lakhs, it is advisable to stop making component in house and buy it from outside 
the company will forego 28 lakh rupees of savings calculated in step 1 above but you will get 32 rental income 32 lakhs less additional cost of buying 28 lakhs still savings 4 lakhs so what is the conclusion stop manufacturing purchase the component from outside and give this uh, premises on rent so that you can earn 32 lakhs but here again qualitative factors in every decision making problem you need to write this in the conclusion other qualitative factors also should be considered for example for example if i give this contract to manufacture 2 lakh components to some outsider if they do not maintain quality standards if they do not uh, give the delivery of good on right time my production will be disturbed now my quality of the final product will be disturbed these are the factors you understand so this is problem number 13 look at the answer material 375 labor 80 and variable over cost overhead 16 total variable cost 471 fixed cost 500 lakhs is irrelevant because anyway you will incur it now a they have given b they have given this is what exactly we have done so any doubts in this i hope you understand this now we'll go to next problem